Tonight's Fox 17 Waste Watch follows the flow of public dollars to a private school. Now, when the state makes a budget, every dollar gets a name before it's even spent. It certainly does, and tonight Fox 17 wants to know why 200,000 state tax dollars were given to a private Nashville art college. And we aren't alone. Watkins College of Art and Design is an independent nonprofit school with about 400 students. Administrators say the school's budget has been in the black for more than a decade. So why does it need your money? It's essentially just a $200,000 handout and why that money is being given to a private university when there are public universities supported by taxpayer dollars that aren't receiving that extra handout. Lindsay Boyd is director of policy at the Beacon Center of Tennessee. It's a nonprofit watchdog group that publishes an annual pork report and the money to Watkins got its attention. They are just one of several schools in the state that uh, function in that capacity, uh, yet they receive a line item in the governor's budget for $200,000 handout. Katrina Henry and Tamika Dillard are juniors at Tennessee State University just four miles from Watkins. They say if the state has extra money to spend, they should send it to TSU. I notice when I go into computer labs and things like that, the printer doesn't work or a computer doesn't work or there's just certain things on campus that at public universities that could be better. I'm a nursing student so I know the nursing building needs to be fixed so we have mold. We decided to see for ourselves. There's no doubt TSU's nursing building has been around a while and while I can't say it's mold, some of the ceilings definitely show signs of water damage. Another issue when you're spending tax money is accountability. What do they do with the money? And when you send some of that public money to a private art college, who's even checking? Martin Dillingham is director of facilities at Watkins. He says your money is helping to replace the college's nearly 30-year-old HVAC system. Figures we're working at with the engineer that did the, work, the study here for us is that we should be able to get a 70% reduction in heating and cooling costs. As for whether it's appropriate to receive tax dollars, a statement from Watkins says its founder left the school and its original property to the state when he died in the 1800s. And while it is independent, its board of commissioners is appointed by the governor. Now, since 1954, Watkins has received 13 grants from the state. That's essentially one about every four and a half years. And as far as we know, those grants have never been questioned until now.